Alright guys, this is my guide for the Winter Lore Stones and Kingdoms of Amalur Reckoning. Um, in order to get to this place where I am, in order to get to the Winter Lore Stones, it's in Cloricon. Um, in order to get to Cloricon, you need to do a quest line. The main quest line, just follow the main quest line. I will show you, right here is what the first one is, but anyway. The main quest line, let me see. Anyway, this is where, um, main quest line, right here. You just follow these the me's main quest lines and you'll get to it. You're gonna eventually get to um uh Rathir, and then they're gonna tell you to get on the boat and you're gonna have a big battle. But then you're gonna be able to get over to here after you have that big battle, you'll be able to roam free in Cloricon. But right after this right after you exit Melson Shear, you're gonna go straight down the road and it's gonna be right there to your right. Right here it is. It's a pretty. It's your, this one you probably already have because it's really easy to find. It was a time of change. Winter lore stone number two is located in still in Clericon and it's located in the Midden. Uh, the Midden is is to the right of Cursewood. Um, here is the Midden. Right now we are in the Midden. Here's the lore stone in front of me. If you don't know how to get here, the the way you get there is from Mel Sunshear. Here's the gate from Mel Sunshear into Cursewood, right here. Just follow the main road once you exit. Then you're gonna take a left up this. Uh, well, here's Cursewood. And let me get back to the gate. Um, Mel Sunshear's right here. The exit to Mel Sunshear. Follow the main thing. Go up the left path. It's a thin road. You're gonna go up this winding road and you come down. Go down some more. And then you go up. And right here is our Stone of Winter, and it's right above Tin Tin Hill. To some, tin something. Here's the gate to Tin Hill. Right here. And then you're just going to walk up, and there is Winter Lore Stone number two. Alright guys, Summer Lore Stone number three is located in the Keening, which is right here. It's below... Um, where we got our last lore stone, which is the Midden. I'll show you if you don't know how to get to it. Um, here's where our last lore stone was. Here's a local map for it. Um, this is the Midden right here. This is where our last lore stone was. So just go the way I follow with my cursor, you'll get there. Now on the path right here, there's gonna be two of those like crazy demon dudes. They're like kind of hard to defeat, but there's gonna be two of them on the path. Just warning you. But anyway, here is our lore stone, and there's a chest right next to it. All right, lore stone number four is in the drowned forest, and going from our last lore stone, um, which is not right here. I just messed up in the video. It's actually down here. If I'll move my cursor. It's down here. Here is our last lore stone. To get to the drowned forest from our last lore stone, which is in the Keening, you're gonna go right here is where it was. Not down there. Yeah, right about there. You can go up. Just up the. Go up. Just keep going at the main road, and. Uh, go off the main road about here and then go up and it's going to be right here and there's going to be a lot of enemies so I'm going to skip this because I try to pull a little sneaky fast one and I try to um, use my uh, smoke bomb but I get hit right when I do it I hate that so yeah I I'll skip past the fighting alright let's skip past most of the fighting I just wanted to include this because it's awesome Anyway, here's our lore stone. There's winner number four. Until one night, when nature changed its course. Winter number five is located right here before the entrance to Alabastra. But I cannot get there yet, so it's not really an entrance to Alabastra yet, but here it is. This is Alabastra. And and this is the place where that guy is, Dren, who defends it, so he's still there for me. I haven't gotten to go into Alabaster yet. So, if you're like me, but anyway, here is our last lore stone, winter lore stone. If you don't know, I'll just go into here, and you're going to reach 
um, the sealed coast top part right here and you're gonna go into the bottom part of the sealed coast which is the sealed coast to bottom part is right here and it's gonna be right here before this entrance to Alabastra and be careful with this guy if you have this guy like me do what I do just go and then once you get teleported just say no I'm good and then you're gonna run really quick grab that stone and run like the weave unraveling the and he actually tries to charge at me a little bit, but then he's like, eh, stupid human. Yeah. Alright guys, winter number six is in Alabastra. And the way you get into Alabastra is just following the main quest line. I will show you the quest you are, but it's in, um... Um, here is where we, our last lore stone was. But you're gonna have to, you're not gonna be able to pass this you're not going to be able to get into this area unless you do the main quest line, so just do the, follow the main quest line and you'll get it. Uh, the quest you have to complete for the main quest line is going to be called Pride Before a Fall. And that's the quest you have to complete in order to get into the place. Just follow the main quest line, you'll be good. And once you do, you will end up right here, which is the entrance to Alabastra. So just follow the main ridge, follow the big old bold main road and you'll be good. That's all you have to do. You're going to reach right here in this turn, which is right before the next area, right here. And we are right here. So it's going to be right here. And it's right before that big old gap right there. And he named it Prismere. It grows far beneath the Amethyst. Winter number seven is located in the Shadow Pass, which is kind of under where we got our last one. Um, I'll show you where we got our last one. Our last one was right here. I'll show that on the local map. Our local map on it was right here. So all you're going to do is follow the main road, which is the bold line. Don't make any turns or anything. Just keep following that main road. Keep following it, and then and then you're going to come right here, and you're going to take a left. And it's going to be right before this something load cavern, which is behind a hidden door. It's going to be after that. No, it's going to be before that, yeah. Okay, so here it is. Here's the cavern I'm talking about. It's going to be behind a wall if you don't have a detect hidden skill, but here it is. The house of number seven. All right, winter number eight is located in the Twilight Pass, which is just underneath the Shadow Pass. And um, here's the Twilight Pass right here. It's located next to Ashmore. If you know where that is, it's like right after it. Anyway, here is our last lore stone. All you have to do is just follow the main road down to um, the Twilight Pass and over the little stream, and it's gonna be right there through Mashmore and over the stream and it's going to be right here but there's going to be some enemies popping up like I knew this was going to happen so I'm going to skip past this fight and I can't activate it in time for just BS it's so annoying alright guys skip past all that mumbo jumbo and there's our lore zone right before the big pool water or the big bridge I think it's a bridge yeah alright winter lore stone number 9 is located right here our last lore stone was located here. So we're just going to go up. Up the road. Keep going up the main road. Main road. Main road. Oh, and it's located in Amara. That's where it's located. Uh, here's Amara, and here is our lore stone right here. As the sun is to the forest. Alright, our last and final winter lore stone is located in Bali, which is you need to just follow the main quest line in order to get to it. It's in Alabastra. Um, just follow the main quest line, you'll get to it. You'll get into it. Um, anyway, here's the entrance to uh, Bali. So just go, ring, go up, go over, and it's gonna be right up here to the right after you go down the stairs. And so instead of an arcane age. Godflow would have an end. And what you get for these lore stones the is of the bay, but of Tyrnox making. Plus ten percent um, ice resistance. Yeah. Of a blissful void across the world. 